Hi guys, I've got a shop card shout out. It's been a little while getting here, um, but finally, Keith, I have your card. Keith is from Southern Ireland. He's a very, very good car modeler in modern cars, GTs, JDMs. Um, if you're not subscribed to Keith, Go over to his YouTube channel, it's just right there, it's Keith's Models and RCs. Uh, thank you very much Keith for the kind words on the back, I appreciate your support brother. Um, yeah, go over and like and subscribe, share his content, comment on his videos, uh, very 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 good model. I enjoy your content Keith. Much appreciate his shop card. Uh, as you can see on my bench, I've got the AMT 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Um, this is my current project. So I'm doing a few modifications and stuff on this one, which is unusual for me because I'm normally a stock builder out of the box. But what I'm looking at here is. I am, you just see it here, I am replacing the engine, this is a 3D printed engine from uh, SBC off of Colts, very nicely detailed, very nicely detailed I must say, uh, lots of little tiny parts for it, you can know, see them all dotted around here, with, yeah intakes um we've got a single two barrel carburetor there there's loads of detail on on these very very surprised much better than the um box engine that comes um it's very obviously it's lacking in detail one of the older kits um what I wanted to do, which was slightly lower the front end, like I did on the 40s Ford, um, with the stock engine. Let me just grab it. So with the stock engine, it's all in one piece. Um, a normal, normal ride height, you've got this area here, which when it runs through the chassis, but if you want to lower it, you got this rotten great big hole through the middle of the engine block which allows you to lower the front end of the car but it's a little bit unrealistic so my thought behind it was get another engine in the box get another engine put my own and then i can do what i need to do to lower that front end I have done is I've set the front end up as it should be here um, and then I've taken some rod uh, hollow rod and I've cut a length yeah. a length there you go, and placed it in the top right height so that the front end lowers a bit. Um, so I don't have the issue of having to put a hole right the way through the engine. What I've done is I've also got some more rod. These are these are in converted these and up to length that sits in the front there that'll end up getting glued in place because um I don't typically want I don't typically want the wheels moving because it ends up rolling off the bench but where you see it poking through here that sort of burgundy purple 
that will end up getting cut off. I've done that for both sides, and that lowers the front end. Um, why I've got that in place? So these are uh, Kragers from uh, a Johan, Johan kit. And what I've done here again is I've because there's no uh, place for any rod to go through except for them. What I've done is I've cut off another piece of tubing that will glue onto there, and we will get that situation. Not camera focus, I think it's because there's too much shiny chrome, that's what it is. It's focusing on the flatter stuff on the back. But you will get that scenario. And that allows me to put the rod in my front end and give me what I need so I can manipulate it to go through the without having to go through the engine block, sorry. Um, so I'm also doing that for the back. The tyres are in for paint, aren't they? I'm painting the white walls on the tyres as on the box art. Um, so yeah, that will give me a slightly lowered chassis. But that's the sort of where I'm at at the moment. Um, have gone ahead and painted the body. Um, it's in Amir. Tamiya TS85 Bright Mika Red. Not as bright as I wanted it. But I'm gonna have, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to rub all this down again anyway. Um as much as I cleaned it, you look on the front here, you can see just here and a little bit there. And on this side here, even this is even though I've cleaned it, we've still got mold release agent attached. So it's going to have to all be rubbed down again. I don't particularly want to strip it, but I will rub it down. And um, do another top coat. All right, so that's where I'm at for this week. Well, let's say this week, at this moment in time. Um, just want to thank all my subscribers, especially the new guys that have just come on. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I really do. For supporting my channel. And um, stay tuned for a bit more. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.